Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here. All right, so today I'm going to be doing the full 120 Resnick Showcase. Um, the reason why I waited is because I wanted to get this card right here, the Salide vs. Rachis card 99, which I finally did today. Looking pretty stoked on this card. Um, so I'm going to equip it. Uh, let's first check the stats that she has with the Helena card. So she's at... 6900 HP, 105 agility, 1311 magic. Um, and I think she gets four spirit from this card. Yeah, four spirit. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to this one right here. Okay, so her agility went up three. She lost four spirit. Her magic went down a little bit. It's now in the upper 1200s and her HP went up to 7K. Um, I've also switched off the sub VC from Solidus to Bringers of Shadow. Uh, I know that this magic effect is not going to hit her. Um, Solidus only gives, I think, 8 uh, slash resist as a sub VC, even though it gives 20 in the main. Um, surprised why it's not 10. I thought it was half. Um, so I switched it over to this one right here to give the 23% attack up boost, which takes Esther and Cloud both into the 1600s of attack. So I think that, you know, I'm sacrificing a little bit of slash resist and I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, but both Cloud and Esther are going to be uh, at least 100 attacks stronger. And uh, yeah, so also Resnick will lose the five magic attack up from Solidus, but I think it's okay. The resistances are still looking pretty good. Resnick is sitting at 39% slash resist, 26% magic. Then the other ones are a little bit low. And then I think Esther should still be at 70% slash resist. And I think Cloud should be at 41%. Yeah, Cloud's at 41. And today, since it's Resnick's 120 showcase, I'm going to be doing 10 battles. Um, I'm going to try and do an assortment. So I'll fight uh, all kinds of teams today. And I guess we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so let's start off. Ooh, maybe we'll start with another lightning team. Oh, and here we go. Another 120 Resnick to kick it off. Um, so this one's running the Europa card in the first slot. Uh, Blossoms in the dark as the secondary slot. Uh, this looks like a pretty cool card. Um, I do not have that card built. Uh, it looks like they have higher magic, higher HP, lower agility by six, lower overall defense and spirit stats. And lower so this one's more attack oriented also it'll have that re-raise tmr equip let's go for it so we'll kick it off with this battle and see how it goes All right, here we go. First battle of 10. Okay, so Esther running back with Magnetic Force. Resnick on the other side throws Re-Rays. Cloud throws the CT up attack, or TMR. Well, I'm excited for this fight. Kicking it off strong with Mono Lightning versus Mono Lightning. Okay, there's Queen. You don't really fight that many Queens. I remember the first time I ever fought Queen. Um... I got wrecked, so I guess we'll see how this goes. This is the Vengeance match. Ooh, the physical shield. I wonder if she had to turn off some buffs in order to get that to go off. I might have to turn off that buff, but I feel like the healing power up is good, so maybe I'll turn off the other one that focuses on... Uh, lightning units. Ooh, so Queen is looking pretty tanky right there. Takes the first hit from Cloud. Here comes Esther. Not quite sure how this Esther is built. If she's looking for just like a Slayer build. Wow, she's pretty strong. And they take out Cloud right off the bat. Already looking really strong. Wow, that counter cure was actually really strong. I haven't ran her with that as a sub. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take off that buff and put on, um... Oof, can she take this hit? Oh, and she procs the courage. This is looking gnarly so far. Okay, so Resnick after this is gonna come in with the limit break heal. Really, this attack is very clutch to see how this battle goes. Okay, so we're able to take down Resnick. Oh, but the re-raise. That was so clutch on their team right there. Okay, so we're getting the limit break heal. Should be all the way to full. Esther almost full. Other Esther throws the limit break heal. Oof, this is gnarly. Okay, this is looking really tough right here. This is gonna hurt. She hits her with the taunting blade. Okay, Resnick goes down, but Queen is likely gonna take down Esther right now. And the battle's gonna be over. Oof, that was intense. What a battle. Oh, shit. Yeah, if Resnick would've got one more attack off on them, but that wasn't gonna be possible. All right, well, not kicking off super strong, but we did learn some stuff. Let's go make some changes. Um, hopefully we can get that uh, physical shield barrier to go off. That should be pretty nice. All right, so let's see, we're gonna go in here. And it's not, yeah, it's this one. Raises allies lightning attack, debuff resistance, unit attack resistance, and reduces own activation time. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. And then, is this it right here? Stows a barrier on an ally, da 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 da. That is only level 17. Let's see if we can go in and make this level 20 really quick. All right, it's at 19. That's gonna have to do for now. So let's go back to duel. Okay, so we turned off that ability. We should get it to go off now. Let's see. All right. All right, we'll go for mono light now. Let's see how this goes. That was a tough team. I guess, you know, Queen is, I think, pretty decent as a unit. Uh, I don't think that many people built her. Um, I'm not seeing that many of her out in arena, but the times when I have fought her, uh, I have lost. <laughs> so <laughs> that must say something. I guess it really just depends on if you have the cards to... Um, to really have her mesh with a good team. All right, so let's see if we can get this ability to go off from Resnick. I think that'll be pretty uh, important. And preferably if she can get that buff to go off on Cloud. Because uh, Esther already has the barrier. Okay, it looks like Resnick is prioritizing Cloud. We'll see right now if she casts it. Enemy team kind of spread out. Oh, it looks like she's prioritizing Esther. Oh no, that was weird. She had already cast that on Cloud. Or had she cast that on Cloud? I can't remember what her first move was. I thought it was that. I don't know why she would cast that again. Okay, Locke coming in, drawing first blood. Elena going after Cloud. Resnick comes in with the limit break heal. Okay, we get the full heal. Resnick comes in, takes down Locke. He's going to get the re-raise. Looks like Cloud is going to run over. Take down Elena. She is on courage. Now we're going to have to deal with three different attacks from light right now. And it looks like they're all pinpointing Cloud. Cloud is the one with guaranteed hit, and he is down. Okay, so now everything is riding on Esther. And she is not on a super accuracy build. Wow, that disable was freaking clutch right there. That's the first time I've actually seen her use that. Um, we'll see what Esther can do. 
I was very lucky on the taunting blade, I'm not gonna lie. Unfortunately, she hit Locke, who was the only one who was disabled. We'll see what uh, Resnick does. She goes with uh, the Arithmetician's Cure. Esther looking pretty tanky right now. Okay, she's going Stormbrand on Violet. Violet falls. Uh, Elena's the only one that's left. She's going for the Limit Break. Elena, her Courage is already popped, so... They just gotta hit her. Resnick going for the next heal. Elena probably has this and one more attack left before she runs out of AP. Oh, that frickin' counter ability. Oof, not looking good. And we're gonna win barely, even though Resnick could not have hit her. She had not enough um, accuracy. So actually, if that would have went one more turn, Resnick would have just buffed and Elena would have won the match. So I will say that although we won that, uh, I think that that was total luck. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't really count that as a, as a personal win in my book. Um, now I need to pay attention to what she does on her first attack. Is she buffing or is Resnick buffing Cloud? Um, with the barrier on the first move, or is she triple casting the defense spirit buff? So let's see how this goes. Okay, so she's running in. Oh, she is triple casting it. She casted it twice because the first time it went off, it didn't hit her and Cloud. I think that's what happened. Yeah. Okay, now the question is, is it worth it to put on a physical shield and give up the 20 defense, 20 spirit? The team is already pretty um, built for physical slash attacks um, and the spirit really helps a lot because most teams that we're fighting in arena are not purely physical so I wonder if giving up the spirit is worth the three times shield um, but the oh there we go there's law of refuge okay this is even better now we get the best of both worlds Let's see how this goes. Plus we have the new card on. They have even higher water resistance right now. As you can see, Astrius just hit Esther for like 116 damage or something. Esther going for the limit break. Celis going after Cloud. This team looking like, <laughs> looking like it's fighting a bunch of level 80s. Okay, we'll see what Cloud can do. Pretty tough. He's got the shield and the defense buff and the high slash resist. Cloud reflexes, dodges, Resnick comes in and downs Cloud. All right, so we are two in one down to the rank 700s. Starting to catch our groove a little bit. So we have fought Mono Lightning, um, Yin Yang, Water Lightning, and um, Mono Light, which we barely won against. Um, here's another Resnick team, not fully built. Um, yeah, let's go for this. We're gonna test how they do against a counter element. Okay, so we have, uh, this is a Yin Yang Earth Dark team. Uh, it is all physical, so in that regard, we're looking pretty good, although uh, we'll be better against Noctis. I don't think the Pierce Resist on this team is very good. So I think that Resnick is for sure a one-shot to Oberon. Um, I don't think Oberon will one-shot Cloud or Esther, uh, hopefully, but I guess we'll have to see how it goes. Joker starting it off with the uh, Barrier Buff and Protect. 
Ooh, I like this setup over here. Can you keep up? You know, I was a little bit worried about running Cloud without an AP Regan uh, TMR, but in all of these fights so far, I don't think I've seen him run out of AP. So, looking pretty good so far. Oh, and actually this new card that I got increases the acquired AP up even more. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so Resnick throws the second buff off again. And throws on the new physical shield buff on, on Cloud. Oberon goes Revitalize. Okay, so we got a literally a full power team incoming right here from these guys. Esther starting it off, draws first blood. Okay, she takes Noxus's hit, takes the Armager, Cloud running in. Okay, so hopefully Esther can take down Noctis. I don't think she'll one-shot him. Noctis is decently tanky. Holy shit. Decently tanky is an understatement. That did almost nothing to him. Wow. Okay, this is looking like an extremely uphill battle. Okay, Oberon coming in with the limit break. I don't know if we'll survive this. Oh wow, so looking pretty, pretty dang tanky from Esther over there. But is Joker's limit break gonna take her down? I would say so. I hope that she has courage off. Yeah, her courage procs. Noctis takes her down and the armature goes off. I'd say that this team is not going to hold up very well against a strong Earth composition. Wow, this Earth team is very fast. I don't even think that Earth has an agility card. I know that uh, Oberon's TMR has 8% agility on it, but... Oh, maybe Joker is running the agility, the Helena card? But they are looking really fast. Okay, so Resnick manages to sleep Noctis. Oberon over there, not even touched. It doesn't even look like we're going to take down anyone from this team. Luckily, Noctis was out of AP right there. She fully heals herself. She gets the agility up, but there's no way she's going to survive that hit from uh, Oberon, let alone Joker right there. Wow, this was a very strong team, especially for fighting uh, this Lightning team. Ooh, getting the Golan, Golan summon for the very end. And Resnick falls. We held up for a little bit there, but it was not a close fight. That was brutal. I'm kind of curious to see what the setup was on that and how fast those uh, characters were. Where was that team? Right here. Okay, so actually they weren't running the Helena card. 94 agility, 89 agility, and 94 agility. That's so strange because that team felt very fast. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I'm like over 20 agility on some of their characters. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we can find a 120 Resnick. Not even close. Um, let's look for maybe a mono dark team. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this team's looking decently balanced, I think, in the PvP arena spectrum. Um, I don't think so far from what I'm seeing, it's the strongest team composition um like the best team composition possibly available right now but it's definitely a strong one um it's hard to say i think that right now the strongest composition is going to be some sort of yin yang team um you know it's going to be a composition of maybe lightning and water um I guess I'll have to play around with different builds. I wish I had Velus at 120 because Velus is such an interesting and great support in my opinion. Um, but also I haven't yet tried out Resnick 
outside of a mono lightning team so it's hard to see what her capacity is you know outside of being supported by a full group of her own okay so the battle's about to get started esther throws off the courage So Cloud's getting to like almost 100 AP by the time the fight starts. He reflexes at the beginning. Okay, that was probably the most dangerous attack we were going to take in their first little onslaught. Esther runs in, takes down Helena, looking strong. Dream Inducer misses. Okay, Cloud going after Joker right here. Throws his limit break. Basically a beefed up version of Klim Hazard. Dwayne throws Armor Crusher. Esther procs Courage. She runs in. Limit break. Bunny Bolt Blitz. Wow, does actually more than I thought it would do to Dwayne. Normally he's pretty tanky. And Resnick finishes the job. Okay, so in terms of Mono Dark, definitely looking strong. In terms of Mono Water, definitely looking strong. Um, in terms of Mono Light, I think it kind of really depends on Cloud. Um, however, if we switch off this pendant right here for um, this, then her accuracy goes up to 81. I thought I had her accuracy higher than that. Ah, it's because I'm not running her on Odin. So actually, if I switch Esther over to Odin, she's going to be a lot faster, a lot stronger. And what is her accuracy at right now? It's at 90, so it'll go to 96. Um, I think I've even had it better than that. Um, it must have been with a different card. Okay, so, but she's going to lose a good amount of slash resist, her defense goes down, her slash resist goes down, so she's not going to be nearly as tanky. Um, so maybe we switch her over to some sort of slayer build or some type of like hybrid slayer build, I guess this would be the hybrid form of it. Um, I could put on the Shinra Bangle for the critical damage up, that would make her pretty freaking strong. She's going to lose a good amount of... Her accuracy will go up, her attack will go up, um, but she is going to lose a lot of magic resist, so she will be quite easy to take down, but she will be considerably stronger. So let's take that off, we'll try it for a fight or two, and we'll see how it goes. Ooh, is this a mono wind? Perfect, we haven't fought mono wind yet. Okay, so going into the sixth battle here. Alright, super excited for this. Okay, so we basically completely switched over Esther's build right now. We were running her like in a tanky form. Now we kind of switched her back to a more aggressive, um, more accurate, more powerful build. So we're going to have to fight another mono light team and see how that goes. Although her lack now of magic resistance support is going to be quite dangerous for fighting Elena or really any magic character. Hope If more gets off an attack on her, which hopefully she does, we'll be able to see just how much weaker she has gotten to magic. Okay, so Esther runs out, throws Taunting Blade. I'll probably take Taunting Blade off of her because now she's not really half tank focused. Okay, so here comes the attack. We'll see what it does. Okay, looking. Wow. And the silence. AoE silence. No incoming heals coming. This is going to be hard to recover from. Okay, so more goes down. She's got the re-raise. Oh, 
Thank the gods for freaking Mushri's TMR. That was so freaking clutch. Okay, Joom goes down. Resnick can't cast. So she's just gonna be a sitting duck there. Literally. <laughs> okay, Cloud comes in and is able to take her down. Wow, if it was not for Mashiri's TMR, we would have just got freaking steamrolled right there. That AoE silence and just the damage across the board was really good. Okay, so I'm going to go into Esther's formation. I'm going to turn off Taunting Blade. A new day has begun. Okay, sorry about the little interruption. Speaking of which, since now that we're going to the start screen, uh, I heard that there's a Final Fantasy IX anime coming out. I really, really hope they don't change the story. Final Fantasy IX, in my opinion, uh, is one of the best Final Fantasies they ever did. The story is amazing. I think the artwork and style of the characters kind of deterred, um, you know, some players from playing it. But in my opinion, 7, 9, and 10 are like the showcase mantle pieces of the Final Fantasy series. Um, you know, I like, I like a, many more of them other than that. But in terms of just basic storytelling, uh, those stories are absolutely beautiful. Okay, so here we go. Here's another Mono Light team. We're going to be... Oh, I think we need to turn off Taunting Blade still. We got interrupted. Okay, so Taunting Blade is off. Alright. Fighting Solstice. Down to around rank 500. But yeah, I really hope they don't change the story in the Final Fantasy IX anime. And I really hope that perhaps they are considering... Uh, remaking it. I do hope that they don't change the story like they're doing in FF7R. I don't really mind the story change in Final Fantasy VII Remake, but for some reason when it comes to Final Fantasy IX, uh, I think that for that one, maybe it's okay for them to just leave it exactly as it was. <laughs> it was really, really great. Okay, so both teams getting buffed up. Cloud's going to run out. I turned off Taunting Blade. Esther's on Revitalize. So this is going to be kind of like a blitz to see who can do more Courage. It looks like Violet on this uh, on this team did get off her Courage. So all three characters are going to have some form of Courage or Re-Raise. Looking pretty strong. Elena hit Cloud pretty hard right there. Luckily Locke's on the other side. He's going to have higher evasion right there. Okay, Esther gets off her Courage. Resnick's going to run in. She throws the shield for some reason instead of feeling Cloud. Um, not quite sure why she did that because now Cloud is going to die. That was... That didn't make any sense in my opinion. He was less than 50% HP. There was no way that he was not in range. Okay, so... Hopefully switching over Esther to a higher accuracy build is going to pay off, but we are really going to need to do something here. Uh, Resnick goes for the Disable. Elena is going for the Limit Break. But Esther is not going to be nearly as tanky as she was before. Still decently tanky, but this team is going to be fast. Yeah, fast and they're going to hit hard. Okay, so now Resnick is finally going to use her Limit Break. I think this battle would have been over if she would have just healed Cloud right from the start. No idea why she didn't do that. That's a little bit of an AI glitch. Esther needs around 120 accuracy to be hitting light consistently. Um, she does not have that right now. So uh, it looks like Elena is about to be out of mana. Esther is on courage. She gets the quick action. Okay, she goes for the heal. She does get the Stormbrand off. Hopefully she can get off another one. Oh, that was so lucky. Okay, Elena goes down. Resnick is going to get a chance to heal. Hopefully she does the Moshery TMR. Okay, so we're making a comeback here. 
from that mishap where she did not use the limit break heal. Okay, so we're slowly recovering, but the question is, how many casts of Stormbrand does Esther have left? Does she have two? Is it three total? Doesn't look like she's using it. And if she doesn't have it, then there's no way she can hit lock. Although, it looks like the battle is inevitably over. Lock's on re-raise. Um, there's no way that he can beat us in action spent, and so we take the battle. That was a close one. That was a pretty great fight, I would say. Um, that was strange. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen anything for any of you guys running Resnick. Have you seen her do that? Have you seen her prioritize the shield instead of a heal um, in any of your AI uh, fights? Uh, please let me know in the comments below. That was interesting, and... Hopefully it will never happen again. <laughs> okay, so we have not fought. Ooh, let's fight this team. This is always a strong team to fight. Okay, nice little breather after the tough mono light. Okay, we can kind of look at like Resnick and Velis as a comparison. Uh, they're similar units. Um, my gut intuition leans towards Velis being the better support over Resnick. Um, kind of the AoE haste is pretty insane, I think. Like I said, I'm a fan of agility, I'm a fan of haste. Um, and when you're fighting a completely hasted team, it's a little scary. Uh, you know, like if this team was anything other than the element that Lightning is strong against, this would be terrifying. You know, especially with Celis there. Luckily, Resnick uh, works as more of a support instead of a magic damage dealer. And so we're not too worried about Celis. Astra is still hitting for about 1200 against Cloud. And Esther going for the limit break against Celis here. Nice. She's almost able to take her down. Celis blocks Resnick's attack to try and kill her, and Cloud takes her out. Okay, so now it's down to Astrius and Velis. I really wish Velis would have had move 4 instead of move 3. That's something that I've noticed in my battles with him is that he seems to kind of lag behind. Um, but I think that maybe that overall works better for him. You want him to be behind, you want him to be healing, you want him to be buffing. Um, so yeah, I mean, they both have their pros and their cons. Um, like Velus right here is going to be dead before he can really do anything. So like in that, in that position in the battle, um, he was really only good for hasting off the bat. Um, and haste is really good, but I think that just hasting is not enough um, for a unit to bring to the table. Like Gilgamesh can do that job and, you know, Gilgamesh by himself is not going to be enough to fight some of the harder teams. Um, this is a double ice water team. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, we got dark. Maybe we can find a mono ice team. We already fought that team. That's literally the same team. We've already fought a mono wind team. We've already fought two mono light teams. Um, let's go back up to the top and see what's here. Um, I wish that ice team up there Ooh, this is a full mono water team. We already know how that's going to go. We're not going to fight this team. Or that team. Maybe we'll fight Wiz. No, uh, 2 one is not good enough. Okay, let's do this. This is going to be Cloud on Ranger, Frederica. They're going to have good missile damage, and Charlotte as a main tank. This is a great test. I could build this team, and maybe fighting this team will encourage me to give this team a try. Let me know in the let me know in the comments below if you guys would like me to put together this composition: Cloud, Frederica, um, and Charlotte. 
Uh, but I think that, you know, having Esther, dropping Esther for Frederica um, is probably not the best way to go. Esther is such a great unit, such a powerful unit, such a versatile unit um, that it's hard to kind of not put her in a lightning team. But we'll see how this goes. I have fought some extremely powerful uh ranged teams that are this setup right here cloud and fred with charlotte as the tank so we'll see how it goes okay so cloud looking pretty tanky charlotte has rob's tmr on so the ct up is going to go off cloud's going to hit her with ascension I wouldn't be surprised if this did only like 3,000. Wow, that did 8,500. That did way more. So this Charlotte is completely focused on magic resistance, which is not going to help her against our team. Frederica goes down in one hit. For some reason, Cloud is in the back. I would have wanted Fred and Cloud to be switched right there. Charlotte goes with the limit break. It misses. She's got to be crying right now to have her limit break miss on Cloud, who has like probably three evasion. Cloud takes her down. Esther's going to run out. She nearly one shots Cloud, and Resnick runs in to finish them off. Okay, so that was a completely different fight than the other mono lightning team that we ran against earlier. So, yeah, I don't think that I'll pro probably put together this composition. I think that when Lightning comes out, running something like Cloud, Lightning, Esther, or something like that is going to be pretty insane. Ooh, a Thancred team. Okay, maybe we'll go for the Thancred team. I'm kind of curious. Uh, I thought that might be a full Mono Light team or a Mono, mono Lightning team. Okay, we're definitely going to go for the Thancred team. I like Thancred, I think he's pretty strong. Um, I haven't used him in a composition since uh, he got brought back on the collaboration and then I got his card and then kind of light, uh, kind of fell out of the meta and, you know, I would still be running more light evasion compositions, but the trust stones that are needed to make them uh, workable, you know, you have to really focus very specific trust stone builds for them. And right now I'm focused on building stones that have passives that are kind of more widely used, that can be used by multiple different characters of different elements in different compositions. Um, it frees me up more to have more fun, but I will build a set of evasion trust stones um, because I do think evasion will make a comeback in the future and I'm going to be prepared for that uh, when it happens. Ooh, nice shot Cloud. I am running Cloud on Ranger sub job just, just with sharpshoot on. Um, that was one of your guys' recommendations. I really like that recommendation. Turn off Barrage, turn off all that stuff. He keeps his AP and he gets an extra set of ability that has guaranteed hit. It's pretty freaking awesome. Ooh, it looks like Cloud or Thancred is going to take down Cloud right now. Okay, so... Oof, just looking brutally strong right here. And this team is all physical, and this team is that I'm running should be very strong against physical teams. We'll see how this goes. I knew that she was going to miss. I wish she would have prioritized Stormbrand right there. Um, oh, I don't think we're going to win this fight. Wow, this team is looking very strong. Resnick's going to go for the AoE. She's not going to be able to hit any of them. Wow, we just got smoked. Okay, so we lost to the Dark Earth team. We lost to this team, Mono Light with Thancred, and we lost to the Mono Lightning with uh, Queen. So that's three losses so far. And do we have one fight left or none?
Okay, so we have one fight left. We are six and three. So we fought all different kinds of compositions. We fought this composition. We have fought wind. Um, we have not fought mono water. Um, I believe every mono, every water team we fought was like double water and lightning, double water and something else. Um, we fought several mono light teams. We won against two of them, lost against one. Uh, although one of them was a, like a luck win. And yeah, so we fought against almost all the elements except for fire. Uh, we're six and three and we have one fight left. So we're not going to fight this team. We're not going to fight another wind team. We're not going to fight another earth team. They're not running 120 Resnick. This looks like an interesting battle. Okay, so we have Abara, Esther, and Cloud. Okay, so that's a that's a potential. So we could run against that. We haven't fought a full mono water team. I think that it is a basically a gimme to fight a mono water team. So why don't we go with this last fight, mono lightning versus mono lightning, uh, and we'll end it with this, and we'll see if we can. Uh, end off this kind of long 120 Resnick showcase, this 10 battles long, and see what her final score is. So right now she's six and three. Can she make it seven and three? Um, I guess we'll have to see. No need for chit chat. Here we come. Okay, so running very similar teams. They are running Ibarra, uh, whereas we are running Resnick. So they are choosing magic damage, where we are choosing magic support. So this will be a pretty good indicator as to uh, these two different teams, their strengths, their weaknesses, how they compare to each other, and how I, how, how I suppose they will compare against other teams that you're fighting. Okay, Cloud comes back with the CT up buff from Rob CMR. Esther's got her courage going off over there. Okay, our Esther gets off her courage. Looking pretty tanky against Cloud. She's gonna have to take a hit from Ibarra right here. Ooh, straight to Courage. That was looking pretty rough. Resnick goes for the Dream Inducer on Cloud. Esther luckily takes down Ibarra right there because their Esther's about to take her down. Okay, I don't know. This I don't know if we're gonna be able to take this off. Oof looking brutal right here okay cloud is down now it is esther versus cloud and resnick for some reason she does not heal okay so that's the second time that resnick has not prioritized her limit break heal in order to go attack okay so cloud glows for the uh the limit break esther is gonna take a hit looking pretty strong cloud's gonna get the next hit off she does have courage Esther's gonna get one more hit. Ooh, that speed card is coming back to play. Okay, so we are down to rank 299. We have gone seven in three out of 10 battles. Um, that's twice though in 10 battles that we saw Resnick prioritize something that should have been her limit break. To me, uh, that is kind of a worrying sign um, the AI of the character is, you know, more important than the kit of the character. Like, for example, right now, my friend is having a really hard time running Aerith because the AI of Aerith is so tremendously terrible that it is extremely hard to get her to function properly, um, despite the fact that she has re-raised, despite the fact that her kit is, you know, actually pretty good. Um, so that's one thing that I think, uh, you know, has to really be considered when it comes to looking at these characters, engaging their efficiency in battles and PVP and guild wars is how effective that character is at utilizing their own kits. Um, so in my opinion, uh, Resnick looking really strong as a support. She's, uh, like an A slash S tier supporter. 
Um, she's tanky, she's strong. Uh, the AI gets a little bit of a lower um, rating from me. I would say the AI for her is kind of like a B plus. Uh, it's not perfect. Um, but overall, Resnick is looking pretty fun, and she's definitely the best thing that Lightning has as a support character right now. Um, plus, she's got an agility card that works perfect with her. So yeah, that being said, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys had some fun watching these videos. Uh, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Take care.